We're being asked to sketch this rational function, so let's go ahead and do it. Solution. Whenever you're sketching a rational function, it's a good idea to find the asymptotes and intercepts. It's also a good idea to check whether your function crosses its non-vertical asymptote. So let me write that down. So we want the intercepts, both the x and the y, and we want the asymptotes. And we want to check if f of x crosses its non-vertical asymptote. OK, so let's go ahead and find the intercepts first. So to find the y-intercept, that's pretty easy. We just always plug in 0. So f of 0. Well, when we do that, we're going to get 9 times 0 squared minus 1 divided by 0 squared minus 4. So we end up with negative 1 over negative 4. So that's 1 over 4. So for clarity, because we have to write this again, let's write it as an ordered pair. So when x is 0, the y value is 1 fourth. So that is the y-intercept. Let's go ahead and find the x-intercepts, so x-intercepts. To find the x-intercepts, you set your entire function equal to 0. So 9x squared minus 1 over x squared minus 4 equals 0. And to solve this equation, we can multiply both sides by x squared minus 4. So over here, we also have an x squared minus 4. These cancel, and so we end up with 9x squared minus 1 equals 0. Now we'll go ahead and add 1 to both sides. So plus 1 plus 1. That gives us 9x squared equals 1. Divide by 9. And so we have x squared equals 1 over 9. To finish solving for x, just take the square root. And that's going to give us a plus or minus. So x is plus or minus looks like 1 over 3. So these are the x-intercepts. OK, so we're done with the intercepts. Now we just need the asymptotes. In this case, the horizontal asymptote is very easy to find. So it's y equals. Now, the degree in the numerator is 2. The degree in the denominator is 2. Whenever the degrees are the same, the horizontal asymptote is the ratio of the leading coefficients. So there's a 1 here, so it's just 9 over 1. 9 over 1. So it's 9. So the horizontal asymptote is y equals 9. That's the HA. To find the vertical asymptotes, you first have to make sure that nothing can cancel. In this case, nothing cancels. And then you take the denominator and set it equal to 0. So x squared minus 4 is equal to 0. To solve this, we'll just add 4 to both sides and take the square root. And so you get x equals plus or minus 2. So these are the VAs. So we have found both intercepts, the y-intercept and the x-intercepts. So that part is done. We found the horizontal asymptote. It's y equals 9. And we found the vertical asymptotes, x equals plus or minus 2. So that part is done. The last thing to do before we graph it is to check to see if it crosses its non-vertical asymptote. So in this case, the non-vertical asymptote happens to be a horizontal asymptote. The reason I say non-vertical is because it could be what's called an oblique or slant asymptote. In this case, it's just a horizontal one. So how do you do this? Let's check. Well, you take your entire function, so 9x squared minus 1 over x squared minus 4. And if our function is going to cross the non-vertical asymptote, it must share a y value with that asymptote. So it must be equal to 9. So we solve this equation by multiplying both sides by x squared minus 4. So here we get 9x squared minus 1 equals 9x squared minus 36, right? Because 9 times 4 is 36. 
we can subtract 9x squared. And so we get negative 1 equals negative 36. That's impossible. So we got no solution. That means it does not cross. If we get an answer, like say we had gotten an answer of, say we had gotten x equals 2, or x equals 3, then we would know that it would cross at 3. But it, we didn't get an answer, so it doesn't cross. All right, let's go to our picture. So I'm going to scroll down and write everything down again. So we have the y-intercept. The y-intercept was 0, 1 fourth. We have the x-intercepts. Those were x equals plus or minus one third. We have the horizontal asymptote. That was y equals nine. And we have the vertical asymptotes. We had two of them, x equals two and x equals minus two. Let's go ahead and do our graph now. This is the part where it pays off to be an artist. I'm not very good at drawing things, but as long as your picture looks decent and everything that's important is labeled, I think that's good. So that's pretty good. There's the x-axis, there's the y-axis. So I like to first maybe plot the asymptotes. So y equals 9, maybe that's here. And you can indicate that it's an asymptote by using a dotted line. Some people use dashed lines. I prefer to use uh, dotted. So there's our horizontal asymptote, that's supposed to be a straight line. <laughs> and then the vertical asymptotes are 2 and negative 2. So I'll use tick marks, 1, 2. There it is. So there is our first vertical asymptote. And then 1, 2. There it is. There is our second vertical asymptote. Already it's starting to look better. That's why I like to draw the asymptotes first. So now I guess we'll plot the intercepts. So the y-intercept, when x is 0, y is 1 fourth. So maybe that's here. Now I'm not going to label it again because it's written here. So it's clear to the reader uh, that you know what it is. And I think that's what matters. And now the x-intercepts are plus or minus 1 third. So maybe that's here. And maybe that's here. That's negative 1 third. And this one here is 1 third. And now we can go ahead and draw the picture. Let me use a different color. So this part is clear. It's going to Start down here and go up, 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 and cross and come back down. All right, that's the only way it can look. It's pretty bad. So it keeps going. There we go. Now we just need to figure out what's going on over here on the left and over here on the right. Well, there is no way that it is down here. Because if it was, then it would cross the x-axis and we would have another x-intercept. So the graph must be up here so it should look something like that likewise there is no way that it is down here because if it was it would cross the x-axis and we would get another x-intercept so it must be up here and that's it that's how you graph a rational function this wasn't the easiest example but it also wasn't the hardest I think this was um, a medium sounds like a steak <laughs> medium difficulty medium difficulty example. So these are actually kind of fun once you uh, learn how to do it. I hope this helps.